Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This one is Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming T model. This one do come in, in GTX, uh, I believe 1650 graphics chip and it has a Ryzen 5 4000 series uh, processor. And this specific one, it does come with an 8 gig RAM. I made a video how to increase the RAM, how to replace, upgrade the hard drives. The exact model for this one is an 15 ar 805 That information can be found on the bottom. All right, in this video, I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can replace the thermal pad, thermal paste, and clean up the fan system and the whole uh, dust system inside the laptop. If yours is running hot and you, you want to just make it run cooler, uh, this video is for you. I'm going to go over the tools that we're going to be using. First thing first, the thermal paste. I'm going to be using Arctic MX4. You can get the new version, which is an Arctic MX5. Or if you want to go crazy, go with the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut, which are one of the top brand thermal paste. I'll leave the link for all this in my video description in case you need. You need an alcohol, isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol. You need a workshop towel, one or two sheet of the workshop towel. These are really suitable to uh, cleaning CPUs and thermal paste. And you will need an open a screwdriver set. For the screwdriver set, I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set. And these are one of my favorites because they're really easy opening everything. The bits are really made out of S2 class steel. We're going to be using a Phillips number zero. If you get the pro version, you can get the opening tools and tweezers and you know, other component, other stuff tools. Or just simply get a basic pack. And for the opening tools, I'm going to be using a guitar pick, a metallic one. It's really suitable to opening cases and covers. You will need a tweezers, curved or straight tweezers. And with this on hand, we're going to start doing also, you will need a toothbrush, old or new toothbrush. And that's it. All right. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop. And then you want to see a whole bunch of screws on the bottom cover. There are two types of screws, short ones and the medium ones. The short ones are the four in the front end of the laptop. Go ahead and remove this one, keep them in one pile and the mediums in a different pile. Also, if you guys like my content, if my content is helping you guys to do your own upgrade, servicing, maintenance, you can click and support this channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I really appreciate it and it helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. I really appreciate it. All right, there we have it. We remove all the screws. Double check, make sure you haven't missed any. Next, you wanna grab the opening tool. Stick it in the corner back, left or right side. It's up whenever you like. Between the bottom cover and the palm rest. You wanna stick it right there. And you wanna twist it until you have a big click. And you wanna work your stuff on the sides. And peel it off. Work yourself towards the front end. Just like that, and you're going to see this big hole opening. You want to do the front end, same thing, fill it up. And work yourself towards the right and left side. Once you did this one, it's already coming up, I can feel it. I'm going to put it down. I'm going to lift up the front end and wiggle it around and it will release the back side. So at the bottom here, you want to grab your toothbrush and go ahead and clean up the dust mesh outside and blow some air. I'll put a link on a good air compressor air. Don't use this canned one that throws lots of humidity. All right, down here, you're going to see big, huge two pipe tubings goes over the CPU and over the GPU. And there's a condenser right there and on the side a little bit, two big fans. Is one big huge fan right here, one piece, and the battery right here. First thing first, we're gonna disconnect the battery by pulling these two, and put your fingers at the side of the battery trigger right there on the side and pull it back. And bring it up. So there you have it. Once you remove those, you need to disconnect the uh, fan. Don't pull on the cables, but it is really soft. It does come out, but if yours is not coming out, uh, use a tweezer on the side of the jack here on the white portion. 
to slide it out like that. But it's, it was really soft. I just didn't even force it. Just pull back. It came out. You want to remove that, and we're going to start removing the heatsink by removing the screws right here. Three screws for the CPU and three screws for the GPU. Go ahead and remove them. The screws have a C lock on them, so that means it will not come out entirely. You just have to lose them up. All right, there we have it. Once you remove it, just grab it from the sides of the heatsink and pull it up. Don't pull it up from here. You want to bend. You don't want to bend the heatsink. Pull it closer to the components and bring it up and lift it up. So there you have it. There's a thermal paste for the CPU and the GPU right here. You do not need to remove the thermal pad. People always say, "Oh, can I remove the thermal pad?" You will not get any performance or anything like that. And the VRAMs actually don't need to cool down unless you're going to do overclocking on the VRAM, which is not recommended for you guys to do it. So do not replace the thermal pad or anything. Leave them the way it is. But if you do want to replace them, these are 0.3 millimeters thermal pads. And you can just buy them and replace them, but I don't see a point for it. You don't get any performance or anything like that. To remove the fan, it's really simple. Remove the screws right on top of the fan. There are three screws that are holding it down. And then you can just lift it up. You have to untangle the Wi-Fi cable here. You have to bring it up, untangle it. And there we have it. If yours get disconnected, just push if the pushed on jack. Now you can take it outside, use a toothbrush and clean up the fan system. This one is pretty clean, it's not dirty. Once you clean it up, bring it on and Tangle back in the Wi-Fi connectors here. There we go. And it goes up, down, down, up. And just look, put it right on top, right there. Okay, and put the three screws for the fan. It's very simple how you can remove the fans here. I haven't seen a double fan in one part, so that's kind of weird. They should have had two fans, so if one fails, you have to replace both anyway, so that's kind of not too good. So there we have the heatsink, so now we're going to start cleaning it up. We're going to grab a portion of the towel, and we're going to soak it in an alcohol. And we're going to wipe over the demo pads here. Grab the whole chunk of it, flip it inside out, and start cleaning it. There we have. Do the same thing on the other one. This thermal pad it is kind of dry, so that's why you should do your cleaning often. There we have it. Once you clean that one in there, now we're gonna throw that out. Grab a new sheet of towel, and in the corner we're gonna start cleaning up the GPU and the CPU. So grab it. All you wanna clean is the die in the middle. Don't worry about the components around it. You don't wanna damage the capacitors, anything like that. So as long as you clean the die, you're more than fine. So clean up the die and don't go cleaning up the capacitors otherwise you're going to damage it i usually do it with a plastic spatula or with a tiny wood pick i mean toothpick but honestly there's no need even on the gpu there's a tiny capacitors around it just leave them the way it is just make sure you clean up the crystal die right on top once you clean it up, make sure there's no anything on top. Just put a tiny drop on the CPU and tiny drop right on the GPU. So that's the amount of the paste I put. Don't worry, it's not too much, it's not too little. That's perfect. And next step is to grab the heatsink. 
you want to bring it down evenly down straight. Once you put it down, you do not want to lift it up at all. Just put it down. Don't lift it up again. And now you want to go with the number, the one, two, three, four, five, six. Or you can go the other way around as long as you go zigzagging right on top. So I'm going to do actually by the numbers. Pretty much is trying to tell you the numbers that you want to cross the screw them. You don't want to cross screw them uh, going around. Once you did that, make sure you connect the fan back, uh, connector right in there. And there we have it. And the last thing down here will be to plug in the battery that you removed. Make sure it has to go evenly right inside the jack and pinch it right in there. All right, now I'm going to power on and we're going to check it out. So let's put the bottom cover on. Once you remove the battery, it might take five to 10 seconds to you get a screen because you remove the battery, but sometimes it is right away. So put the screws at the bottom casing. Remember the big screws goes at the back mid and the short ones goes in the front end of the laptop. If you guys like this video, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I will greatly appreciate it. And if you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in the video comment and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. All right, I'm just going to stop right here and um, I'll continue putting the screws later on. I'm just going to power it on and so I get the boot screen so you guys don't say that. Why I don't turn it on? So, let me see. F2 or F1 is the BIOS. There we go. Actually, we got it right away. And there we have it. We are in the BIOS. And I see my boot menu, my hard drives, AMD Ryzen 4600H, NVIDIA Graphic GTX 1650. All right, guys. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, you know what to do. And again, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video.